uh, welcome, Mrs. Grania. Thank you. And uh, we would like it if you can like uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. You had my names. I'm Grania Rosette Rubomboras. I work with Nile Besson Initiative at the Nile Sub Office. That's the Nile Nile Equatorial Lex Region sub subsidiary, ac subsidiary Action Program uh, in Kigali. I head the power department and uh, in charge of the power projects at NELSA. Grania, can you uh, tell us one project uh, that uh, explain your work better for the audience? Uh, when I joined NELSA, it was uh, to be project manager for the regional interconnection project that covered five countries. That is uh, Burundi, DRC, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda. And um, this was an interconnection project. Uh, bring the countries to, 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 for, for their electrical grids to be interconnected and for them to exchange and trade in power. Uh, can you specify one uh, project that uh, reflects on your work a uh, little bit more detailed? What I do, what we do is to uh, conduct feasibility studies for these projects. Uh, for the interconnection project, the feasibility study had been conducted when I joined and uh, what I had to do was manage the project uh, coordinating the five countries uh, to implement the project. So you manage the scope, you manage the countries, you coordinate the development partners because this one had five development, six development partners financing it. Uh, what's the most challenging experience you had trying to put these all countries together? Uh, countries at different level of uh, uh, development and, uh, and uh, project implementation and capacities in implementing uh, projects. Um, and uh, also uh, getting together, to work together, is a new phenomenon because they're coming from a mindset of self-sufficiency as far as the countries are concerned. So you had to coordinate them to work together and to move the project as one unit covering five countries, say. Uh, did you have a real experience that's challenging about putting them together? Uh, for this project, the uh, this, uh, this was covering uh, uh, Anglophone countries, that's uh, Kenya, Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda, and, and, and Francophone countries, that's Rwanda and Burundi. Now we had to do a Rwanda-Burundi interconnection, and we had difficulties finalizing the bid documents because, you know, language of bid is language of contract, and here we had to, we had to decide which language to, you know, to send out the bid, you know, um, out. Uh, for that specific one, we had to do a uh, tender document in English, but then put two contracts, in uh, one in French, one in English. But now what we do these days is we send out two big documents, one in French entirely and one in English, complete. What's your vision about the future? How do you see the connection between these countries, let's say, in 10 years? I see that the, the regional connections and regional integration in terms of power projects is becoming a reality. These projects seal sell faster to the development partners in terms of financing because they have economies of scale. So um, we still pursue that regional integration uh, through power interconnectivity and uh, this will um, enable the countries to work together and also start trading and also make the East African power pool operations uh, feasible once the interconnections are done, then East African Power Pool can start its power, power pooling and trading. Thank you very much for being with us today and thank you all for watching this video.